Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Long Live the Queen. I'm your host, Flip. This is a game about a princess who aims to be queen. I don't really know too much about it. Um, I did play it two games. I died, I took an arrow to the gut, and I choked on magical chains. So, that's a thing. Um, it's not my usual, not my usual type of game, but uh, it was on sale, so I bought it. Let's get started. This is Joslyn, King Dowager, Duke of Caloris. His wife is Fidelia, who is deceased. His brother is Armand, Duke of Mazomba. And his daughter is Elodie, who is us. He is age 33. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged for the best possible tutors in every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is Elodie, us. Father is blah 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 blah. We have the maternal uncle of Laurent, Duke of Merva, and a bunch of other stuff, so we'll be on the watch out for him, maybe, probably not. This is not what Martha would have wanted. She would have wanted to die. She wait. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova, I guess, is the place we're in. Depends on us. On you. <sighs> I will be here to guide you until your coronation. But these decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. Blah, 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 blah. I've played this before. So, let me explain about the game. This is Elodie. She is feeling kind of depressed because her mom just died. We can tell that because if we go to mood, she is depressed. Um, these are our four mood sliders. We can be afraid, angry, depressed or cheerful, yielding or willful, or pressured or lonely. I don't know why that's those ones. But yes, so those are the things we can be. The goal of the game is to make it one year, I'm guessing. I haven't really played it that much. I got to about here and then died, and then I got to about here and then died, so I did worse the second time. We can change our outfits, and our outfits give us bonuses when we get them. Um, you get outfits, I guess, by doing skills. This is the skill screen, I guess. Um, we have social skills, physical skills, intellectual skills, and mystical skills. Um, we can upgrade all of these through learnings, except for Lumen, um, which we don't get until later on, I'm guessing, because I haven't gotten that in either of my previous playthroughs. Right now, I'm depressed, because depressed is the most further away one that we have. Um, so when you learn, uh, you go take classes, and you'll pick classes depending on which skills you wish to learn. Uh, you get a certain bonus to learning things or not learning things, depending on your mood. Right now, uh, we cannot learn any conversation, because we learn like two at a time in a specific juices kind of way. Um, so, conversation we can't learn. Royal demeanor, it'd be really hard to learn, while expression would be pretty easy to learn. Which I guess we're going to go for first. Um... I've thought about it, and I kind of want to do a role-play type thing. Um, I want to be a person who is more interested in the social affairs of the kingdom that we live in, or queendom, as it may be. So we're probably not going to take very many physical skills. We might take a little bit of mystical spills, skills um, later on. Um, we're going to take a lot of intellectual and a lot of social skills. Which expression should be good, because every queen should know how to um, do instruments or something. So let's learn some instruments, and we can let's learn singing a little bit. Let's do that. Ah, okay. So week one morning, you tap out chiming dyads on a glockenspiel, learning the basics of harmony and rhythm. We have learned 15 juices worth of juice today. And we have a bonus because we are depressed, and learning music is easier when you're depressed, apparently. You practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. Yay! After each week, we have, like, a event-type thing, and then we have, like, a mood-changey-type thing. 
So this is the event type thing. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we are so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Lodi. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep, Mummy said we'd be here all month. Yay. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Uh, now that we've finished studying, what will we do for the weekend? So these is the weekend skills stuff. Um, we can do things like visit the dungeons, which doesn't help us. Visit Charlotte. Visit our father. Or do other things which will change our juice accordingly. Now, I've never done this, so we're going to do this one. Visit Charlotte, Lady Merva. Let's go talk to Lady Merva. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit us more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. Yay! So that's changed our mood. So we are no longer super depressed, only mildly depressed. We are now afraid. Um, and afraid will change different skills. Like now we have access to conversation, which uh, I'm going to go and learn conversation this week. Because that sounds cool. I would like to learn court manners and flattery. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying some, when saying nice things about someone. That's flattery. Court manners. You review the correct greetings for gestures for guests according to rank and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. What's this commotion outside, father? What's going on? I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect to on or yeah, you have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I'm a lumen, as she was, as was she. And like every Lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years! I won't have you corrupting our daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. Elodie. 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 I don't know. It's like Melody, but without the M. Your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Mm, let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. She might have important information about peoples around here. Plurals. She stays. Yeah, plus one willful. As you wish. Now that you've finished studying, what will we do for the weekend? Well, we can talk to Juliana, the person who we just uh, got. So let's do that. What is it you wanted to teach me? Let's take a look. Her father is Paulus, Duke of Ursul, dead. And Ignatius, Duke Consort of Mead. Cool. First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for, for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course! <laughs> she holds out her hand, light flickers above her bosom, and then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Okay. Uh, how am I feeling now? Mm, willful, probably still afraid. I'm guessing? Afraid. Okay, so we've learned a little bit of expression and conversation. Um, I found that the more you learn something, the better you learn it, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and learn decoration and public speaking for this week. So we want public speaking and decoration. Done. You practice tongue-twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. Yay! You discuss the nature of beauty, looking around at landscapes, objects, and people, and comparing their aesthetic elements. He loves me, he loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Versal rushes in the garden and points a sword at you. No, not at you, at your feet. Princess, don't move! Don't move. Dang it, we failed a test. So that's a test. Um, it comes up every every so often and makes you do something. You want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass! You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! 
your cousin pushes you aside, and the snake sinks. The snake's fangs sneak sink into her leg. Yeah. Lottie. Too late. Juliana swings her sword and cuts the head of snakes off. Yes, that's exactly what I meant to say. What is going on out here? My old daughter has been built and bitten by a milk viper. They're, they're poisonous, don't you know? Get, get an herbalist. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. We will be returning to Murva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. The snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. What are we going to do? Let's go and do fun stuff. Uh, let's take a look at our mood. So we're very, very, very afraid. And we want to be angry. How do we get angry? Let's do there and get angry. No. Yeah, no. Lonely. I want to. I want to be more yielding, cause I know yielding is a thing. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Sitting in on court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father, and it may be important for your future. All right. What's our mood? We are very depressed or afraid, probably afraid. We're afraid. That's okay. We can do other things. Um, let us go ahead and go with... Let's go with one of these things. Let's, let's, let's learn the history of our people. Novin history, and uh, let's learn about the world we're in. That'll be cool. You read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the center of a great empire, spanning the length of the western coast, as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence has waned. And world history, you look at a globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever hearing about them, and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing there has ever returned. Interesting. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery, and Zahra, and their parents gone. Use proper English, girl. Certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was worried about Charlotte after that snake bite. Her... But her mother said she's okay. So I guess it turns out alright. Maybe she was a guardian. Maybe she has a guardian angel. Maybe she does. Um, let's be more cheerful and angry. If we can. Uh, don't mind that noise. Cheerful, angry. Cheerful, lonely, and yielding. Lonely. Yeah, we can do that. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. We're still afraid, I'm assuming? Yes, we're still afraid. Let's take a look at our skills. Okay. We're a little, bitter, a little better at learning history, and a little better at learning expression and that stuff. Um, let's learn a little bit of faith today. We can have some faith. Um, let's go with divination. Let's do it twice. Why not? You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divide, to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. Dropping your favorite plate is bad luck. A statue spontaneously shattering is a bad omen. You read about well-known signs of bad fortune. Wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on. One of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of Sedna? No, my lady. The Duchy of Sedna is in Talasi. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences of the death. We deeply regret. Best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Court manners is a success. Sweet. We passed it to us. It might not be appropriate for me to wear a man's gift in public, though. People would think it meant something. Let's not wear it. It's important to maintain the proper image. Now that we've finished studying, what will we do? Uh, let's try to be angry. Can we be angry? I want to be angry. I want to. Okay, less afraid. That works. Yes, it helps. Mood. We are now yielding, I guess. Yielding. Which gives us a huge bonus to royal demeanor and history. That's about it. So let's go with royal demeanor this week and learn a little bit about composure and elegance. You practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a center, a sense of intercom. Yay, we did it. You practice walking around a narrow rail, along a narrow rail, taking each step carefully and focusing on your balance. As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. 
It's the Duchess of Ursul! Maybe I should go and say hello. Then he noticed that seated beside her is a woman in robes of a priestess. They're very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was that a servant, a thief, or an assassin? Call the guards! Gods! However, by the time the response is organized and directed to the area beyond the palace, there's no sign of any intruder. You wonder if you were only imagining it. Alright. So we're being we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Uh depressed and afraid. I don't want to do that. Let's be less depressed. You attend services in the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Yes, I'm still yielding. Still still got those bonuses. Um, so let's go ahead and learn a little bit about Faith, 1.3, 1.31. We still got the biggest bonus from this. Let's do the same thing we did last week. Composure and elegance. You practice positive thinking, maintaining a good self-image and conditioning yourself to carry on rather than be frustrated by any past misstep. You practice sitting calmly while your teacher circles around and makes unexpected loud noises at random intervals. Yes, because that's how we teach composure. Here, sit here and don't react. Okay. Dip! 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 Uh, you practice standing and walking with books balanced on your head. You practice the elegant way to hold and sip from a teacup. Your pinky slightly extended for balance. Yes, mm, very, very much so. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down, holding a towering pile of linen. Elegant success. You gracefully step aside and let her pass. That was a really crappy event. Um, let's talk to my father. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine! Meddling with magic killed your mother, and I don't want that to happen to you. Once you crown queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want, but for now, you are still a child. Yeah, friggin' parents. I hate parents. Man, I wish I didn't have any. I'm halfway there. <laughs> okay, let's look at our skills. Um, okay. So I think it's about time we start going in a little bit more into the intrigue area and of internal affairs. And Oh, we could do foreign affairs. Eh, we'll do one of each. Foreign affairs and foreign intelligence. Maybe? Uh, yeah, sounds good. So we'll do Intrigue, Foreign Intelligence, and History of Foreign Affairs. Let's do that. Learning about our country. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Delassi. You study the relationship of Nova and its nearest neighbors. The borders have been most peaceful in recent years, except for the problems with Ixion to the south. However, trouble may be brewing in Pyrrhus as well. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crowdfunding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 lassies. His timmies have fell down the well. To assemble the metal and a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. Uh, I don't know much about factories. We're not interested. So we didn't pass the thing, so we couldn't get the thing. Um, so far, I'm happy with what we have here. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of one of the afraid things. Yay, peace. And we're still yielding, which is great. For now. Um, let's learn about presence. I want a little bit of everything in this social section, I think. And then we can learn about internal affairs. Because that's important. So, internal affairs. And, what was the one? Presence. Done. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin, Charlotte. 
You practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in a mirror. Young as you are, you are a queen of... You are a queen of the blood. Whatever that means. You are your mother's daughter. You are a force to be reckoned with. Your Highness, my sympathies to your locks. Who is this? Banyan, Duke of Marie, Earl of the Serendennials. Thank you. Uh, he's single. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixianite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. I've failed my foreign affairs. I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie? I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion and try to come to some, some arrangement. Thank you, Your Highness. If I may say so, you are looking particularly lovely this day. I hope you will think of me fondly. Is he flirting with me? He's almost as old as my father! <laughs> Um, hmm. Let's get less depressed. Okay. We are still yielding. Uh, let's learn a little bit more about flattery since that guy flattered us. I don't. I don't know. We'll do that. Flattery! You learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it's always better to compliment people for their personality and their choices than their physical attributes. The representative from Ixion is here. Be careful. No one wants to give up prizes they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, Your Highness. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Your Royal... Oh, I failed. Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I am sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Let bygones be guybones. Bleh. Let bygones be guybones. Yes. No. Yes. No. We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. Okay. We can be good neighbors again without any lives being lost. Um. Let's bluff him. You are trespassing on our lands. You will withdraw your troops at once. Only then will we have peace. Turn to attack. My soldiers are poised to destroy you. Withdraw now. I guess we have to fight. Damn it. I need to be a little bit more willful, but we can stop getting depressed right now. Okay, so presence kind of bit us in the butt there, so we should probably learn a little bit more about that. <laughs> um, so we will go Royal Demeanor, Presence. What else do we have? Can learn a little bit more about decoration. I think I want to learn a little bit more about the Novan history. That came up again. Uh, no, 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 no. You want presents and you want Novan history. Done. Still, you're, you stare at yourself in the mirror and practice focusing and transmitting energy with your only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze on and off at will. You practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic and to let the ad energy surround you and others for others to share. I'm bad at reading. I've unlocked a new outfit. Sweet. Nova's history involves an endless slew of names and dates. Even as small as it become, as it's become, there are ten dukedoms. No, eleven now, plus the royal line. You hope no one expects you to memorize all of them. You receive a report on the outcome of the battle against the Ixianites. You succeed in driving them out of Mary, but it costs you almost a full battalion of soldiers. I lost 1,032 soldiers. The Duke of Marie will be happy, but we could have done better. Uh, where will I study? Where will I study? Uh, what does this give me? Negative one angry. So that keeps me in... Like, this one keeps me in line on these two, which is cool. Um, let's go ahead and... What's the opposite of yielding? Willful. I will do that one. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like this if he finds out. What's my mood now? Angry. I'm angry! So angry doesn't give us as good, as much good bonuses as the other ones did. Um, we'll still learn conversation. I still, I think I want a little bit more public speaking or... Oh, we have a new outfit. Let's check that out. Cornet! Yes. Now we look like a real princess. 
Uh, so we gotta look at our skills here. So that boosts them by like 10 or something. I think it was 10. Which is cool. We need more outfits though. We need conversation outfits. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Mm. History could be important though. Let's go with history. Let's learn foreign affairs and world history. A little bit more of everything. Four years ago, the Duchess of Hellas tried to forment an insurrection in northern Ixion, just over the Galbion River border. Not only did that fail, but in retaliation, Ixion pushed troops into southern Marine, and they are still refusing to leave. You read about the western continent, Giavar, where civilization flourished so long ago that the ancestral Novans were still living in caves. No one knows what became of them. The population vanished without a trace, leaving only their enormous stone buildings. So they're like the Mayans or something. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crowdfunding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, Your Royal Highn Highness. I come on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all those sick people together, wouldn't that make them even die just super fast? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's preposterous. P -p preposterous. Uh, let's look at our mood. Um... So I want to get a little bit more yielding. That's the best way. Yep, no fun. And I'm back to yielding, which gives me bonuses to royal demeanor, history, and some other stuff. So depressed gives expression bonuses. I wonder what gives conversation bonuses. Cheerful? We'll go for that next, I think. Um, but while we have it, we might as well go for this royal demeanor crap. So let's go with... Composure and elegance. At your command, your teacher strikes your palm with a leather touse, and you learn to bear the sting. You lie on a couch and try to remain relaxed, while your teacher smacks your heels with a leather leather touse. The fuck is wrong with my teacher? It's like whipping you with a belt. You are strapped into a corset and hoop skirt, and practice walking with ease. The corset makes it hard to breathe and twist, and the skirt sways out of control if you move too rapidly. You practice graceful arm gestures for every motion. Uh, for every motion, from offering your hand for a kiss to taking on a taking hold of a banister at the stairs. You're requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, this Latin dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Chorus and the Duchess of Mead. You are... Kevan, <laughs> Earl of Io. And you're... F Chorus and... Oh, she... Oh, okay. Is she alright? She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anything could eat... Before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say to yourself? It's justice! Them devils killed me, brother, and broke me ma'am's heart. Lied to her, they did. When she went to see why he'd not come back, said he'd gone for a soldier when they never could, never would. He weren't the only one, neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what this is all about, either way. Murder is a serious crime, but... Um, let's put her to work... This woman failed in her goals. She harmed no one. I do not require her life. If she is kept far away from your sister's court, she will no longer be a threat. You're going to forgive her? I'm indenturing her, not pardoning her. She will serve as a heavy laborer in northern Ursul. She should be made an example of. She should be drawn and quartered in a public square. I have spoken. God bless you, miss. Yes, yes, yes. People don't want a bloodthirsty queen. Okay, cheerful is going to be harder than I thought. What makes me cheerful? That's plus one cheerful, but other effects, other stuff. I want to be a little bit more willful. It gives me one more lonely. Yeah, we'll do that. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. Yeah. Fun. I am depressed. Depression increases my expression skill. And my animal handling skill for some reason. Um, let's go with our expression skill. So we can express ourselves through instruments 
and decorations. You learn to play notes and scales on a simple wooden recorder. You practice with the recorder, learning to recognize tunes that you hear and replicate them. You practice sketching fruits and flowers with charcoal. You study the theory of color, how they complement and contrast, and how to select colors to emphasize mood. As you are walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters its talons. That's funny. I thought owls were nocturnal. I guess I was wrong. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There are reports that a key thong has been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a key thong? Dang it, I keep failing Novan history. A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. <laughs> Several disappearances in southern Caloras are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? The traditional plotting on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures. We would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Uh, that's so sad. Let's stop being depressed. Can I be willful? No, willful's bad. I want to be cheerful. Maybe pressured? Let's do that. Yep. Dang it, I'm still depressed, aren't I? Damn it! Oh, let's learn... I want to learn more Novan history, because that's come up twice now. Uh, which is history, Novan history... And we'll learn a little bit of world history, because we can't go above 50, while uh, the other ones are at 25. We have, to get, we have to get all of them to 25 for one of them to go above 50. So I don't want to accidentally waste points. Which we would have done. Uh, no individual may hold more than one dukedom, but nobles seek noble spouses. So titles often come together before being parceled out to heirs. Your father is Duke of Caloris, and his brother is Duke of Mazomba. Bryn, Duchess of Hellas, is the sister of Banyan, Duke of Marie, and so on. Eris, Duchess of Linde, is the mother of Duchess of Mead, the mother-in-law of the Duke of Gigal, and the stepmother of the future Duke of Elath. People sometimes call her Nova's Eastern Queen. In the distant past, the Yeveni tribes to the east rode great beasts with spines and tentacles on their heads instead of horses. The bones on these creatures are sometimes found in Lila and Mead, and their tusks are valuable to crafters. We unlocked a new outfit. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. As queen, you should be expected to lead the procession and take part in a ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you are not crowned, it is not required, and it may be blah blah blah. What do you mean, not safe? Yeah, there's a letter for you. Sweet! It's from Bryony. I want to go with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently her uncle Kevin is absolutely furious about that woman's trial. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest. My goddamn queen! Oh my god, I'm so depressed. We need to not be depressed. I'm still depressed. <laughs> so friggin' depressed. <laughs> Damn it. Um... So we might have to give a speech, so let's... Oh, that's terrible. We're so boned. Yeah, we're not giving speech. Um, We will work on voice, I guess, because we have some of that. Oh, we unlocked a new outfit, too. Um, History. I like that one better. It looks cooler. I guess. Um, So we can learn history better. Um, let's learn a little bit more on intrigue, I guess, and voice. So we'll go with ciphering and voice. Uh, voice and ciphering. I learned the differences in resonance between the chest, the head, and the nose. I learned about the different vocal ranges, from the most profound bass to the rare kaulurarura thing. I've unlocked a new outfit, yay! I practice recording words with letters have been whose letters have been arranged in reverse order, the simplest of transitions, which anyone literally blah 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 okay, thank you. Today is the procession and planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there's no recovery. I will lead the parade. I am not afraid, I am not going to Oh wait, I I am going to be the best parade leader ever, my little girl. 
You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. I failed at that. At the end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the earth with a new hand to be planted. Within the trees, birth to knowledge, and enjoying its song, presenting regroups, and you return to the castle. So, that didn't do jack shit. Let's get not depressed. Thank you. I am... Yes, yielding again. Awesome. So, yielding allows me to be really good at... I mean, I had 50 and that stuff... I guess court manners I did not, but whatever. Let's learn that stuff while we're yielding. Conversation. Court manners and public speaking. Let's do let's do double court manners. We can do double public speaking next time. As a person of highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission. And no one must ever turn their back on you. If they do, you are intended to recognize the insult. You study... Rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. <sighs> you finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Yeah, elegance. You move slowly and surely, controlling any hint of nervousness with elegance and grace. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kegel alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. Um... Hmm. This is a difficult decision. If I choose someone about my age, then they may think I'm trying to get married. If I choose someone older than me, they may think that I am trying to talk politics. If I choose someone younger, they'll see me as immature. Someone already married, they'll see me as a homewrecker. And scandalous is probably the same thing. So let's go with older than me. You look around for a likely candidate, and your eyes settle on Chain, the Earl of Mima. He's almost ten years older than you are, and quite good-looking, so why not enjoy yourself? He smiles brightly at your approach, and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you, now every move is a mystery. Unfortunately, you lose track of which feet you're supposed to trip over your own feet. Oops. Between the dances, there is time for guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. You interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wise word in every year. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, betting the clear note or letting the clear note ring out through the dining for the blah blah blah. If I may have your attention, I believe we should offer our confidence to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Yay. You take the opportunity to observe nobles that you really see, there's Gwenlin, the blah 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 I don't only months older than you, and due to finally inherent control of her duchy. Adele, sportswoman, head of me at school, and really crazy. No Bryony, because she's stuck at school. Her parents are here, dancing together. Strange, there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Um, my aunt and uncle are here, but, uh, Merva, blah blah. It's nice to be able to enjoy with time with family and friends, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, let's go talk with Daddy. Daddy! Dad, what really happened to Mom? She was a lumen, a magic user. It was meant to be in reserve to defend our domain, but she insisted on... You don't need to hear that. She used magic! It drained her strength. She thought it was harmless, and it wasn't. Eventually, her heart just... exploded. That's why I don't want you involved with it. Okay. Yay, we learned stuff. Skills. Um, let's learn some more presents. And more foreign affairs. Sounds good. Presents. Uh, was it history? Foreign affairs. Ooh, that was a huge bonus. 
Plant your feet in a strong stance, imagining that you are a tree deeply rooted in the earth. You can feel that power within you and know that you are... That you will not be pushed aside. You practice focusing your attention on individuals as you pass, letting them feel a brief connection with you before you formally acknowledge them with a nod. You practice being aware of your environment, seeing everything as it transpires around you and feeling that you are in control of it all. Dombula to the north underwent a peasant revolution shortly thereof. This is really boring. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You're too coin, Joslyn! Countess Surin. Not a member of your circle. She's a bit more than a decade your senior, far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noblewomen go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. You take a deep breath. Let us greet her politely. You manage to smile at her in what you hope is a welcoming manner. Yes, good day to you, Countess. Your Highness, good day to you as well. I was just speaking with your father about... Well, it wasn't important. Please allow me to excuse myself. I don't wish to be in the way. She bows her head to you and exits. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen any time soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Sirin. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. I'm paying attention to what's around me. No, I'm not, apparently. Um, and for the evening time, we will go and talk to our uh, to the Duchess. Why not? My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll have to wait. There may not be time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the powers of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you've bonded with your crystal. Well. What else are I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. Um, I'll try and find a way. All right, I will try to get into the treasury. Do 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 do. Actually, 42 minutes ish. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. Uh, LP1. Save. There we go! Week 18! Title screen... Oh, no. Return! Whatever! Um, so yeah, that's it. These are our skills. Next time, I guess we're going to the treasury or whatever to try and steal that crystal. It's week 19 now, actually. I don't know why that's at 18. Um, so yeah. We're like a third of the way through, or around there. That's about a third. Yeah! Yeah, we're more than a third, yes! I can do math. Anyways, next time, we're probably going to learn stuff about um, history, I guess. Because we keep failing that shit. Which is really annoying. Or maybe, perhaps... More intrigue, probably. Probably intrigue. I want some intrigue. I don't know! We'll see. Goodbye.